So when it comes to setting up your wet sand area, one of the things that we'd recommend that you do is shadow the area. And in order to shadow it, you want to use a good quality sticky back plastic. Um, and there's lots of different types of manufacturers, but the reason we'd say uh, we'd go for good quality is we want it to be durable, um, because in a wet sand area or a water area, you're going to get water going underneath the plastic, potentially, or sand going underneath the plastic, which means it will peel and bubble and won't look anything very soon. Uh, so the good quality, durable, sticky back plastic is what you're after. Um, one of the things that we talk about then is colour coding. And so in our wet sand area, we tend to use red resources, so we choose a, a red sticky back. Um, if you were going to do your water area or wet sand, obviously you'd choose a different colour and maybe in your blocks area as well. Um, I would affect colour, as you can see, I've got those, some examples of that in front of me here. Um, if you're not 100% sure what we mean by shadowing, we're literally trying to create a shadow of the resource in question. Um, so what you do is you take your sticky back plastic um, and you take your resource, you draw around it with a marker pen and then cut it out. So what you'd end up with is an, almost like an exact replica of the resource in question that can then be stuck on the shelf and the children can um, then place the resource on top of that on the shelf when it comes to clearing up time um, or tidying up time and it helps children's independence, it helps their autonomy um, and it helps just ease all that kind of process along. Um, you'd also want to, when it comes to actually creating the shadows, you'll have a range of different resources that you want to shadow. Um, so you can see on the right hand side here, I've got some buckets. Um, and this scenario, we've got um, just a range of different sizes. So you've got a, a big circle, medium sized circle, and a small circle. Um, when you look at other resources, it's important to pay attention to the shape. Um, and look, look at some of the details of the shape so you don't just end up with circles. So for example, on this side, we've got some capacity measures and you can see there's little wings on the top. Um, so as they cast a shadow, uh, it's important to kind of um, take into account those wings as well. And when it comes to um, rakes or um, trowels, then it's important to get the handle in as well. So you've got that um, attention to detail when you're um, shadowing up your shelving. Um, so things to think about, um, so make sure that you get a good um, high quality sticky back plastic, uh, think about colour coding um, and look at the detail uh, when you're um, shadowing particular resources um, and then you won't go far, long, far wrong and you'll be supporting the children's independence and autonomy um, as well.